Hi everybody, my name is Kristen and I'm a stylist here at Thompson & Company Salon. Today I'm gonna to give you five tips on how to care for your hair extensions at home. First, brushing the extensions. Second, how to properly shampoo, deep conditioning, um, wearing it in a braid at night, and as well as spraying a leave-in conditioner throughout the ends multiple times a day. The first one I wanna to talk to you guys about is brushing through your extensions. It's probably the most important part of caring for your extensions at home, and the brush can either be really damaging or really helpful in maintaining the extensions. The brush that we give you here is the Aqua Boar Bristle Brush, so it has the boar bristles down a little bit farther, and then it has all of these like very flimsy plastic kind of bristles on the ends. The dual bristle is to help get in between all of the rows as well as get all the little tiny hairs and lay everything down. With the brush, I like to pair it with one of my other tips, which is the 18-in-1 from the Oligo line. So the 18-in-1 can be sprayed on damp or dry hair. In this case, we're discussing on dry hair. Spritzing a little bit through your ends, taking the aqua brush and brushing from the underneath side first, we'll get all of those tangles out from root to end, as well as get any of the matting up at the rows. You then want to separate the rows in between and then brush from the top, holding on to the top of your weft and brushing all the way through the ends. You'll want to do this a couple of times a day. I prefer morning as well as evening. That way you know for sure that before you get your day started and how you end your day, you're gonna keep your hair intact. Moving back to our 18 and one. So the 18 and one is a great all-in-one styler, but it also works really well, once again, for detangling the hair extensions. Plus it provides added moisture, SPF and color protection, especially if you're heat styling your hair or need to um, use our aqua brush to detangle anything in the meantime. Before you get in the shower, you want to make sure you take your aqua brush and brush through all of your extensions before getting in the shower. This will prevent any additional tangling as you get in and are preparing to shampoo the hair. When it comes to the shampoo, you wanna make sure to add a little bit to your fingertips and massage in between above and below each row that you have in your hair. When you typically shampoo, you're able to just massage it into your scalp throughout, but adding that additional weight of hair right at the scalp, you're not able to get in between with just going from the top to the ends. You need to really get in between each row to make sure that you're actually cleansing the top of it. Since it's not connected to your actual hair, from the scalp, you need to make sure that that scalp gets really clean so that all of the buildup can get rinsed through the ends of the hair. And lastly, a deep conditioner. So everybody that has extensions, I always recommend doing a deep conditioner either once a month or every other week, just to add some moisture back to the ends. Like we talked about with shampooing, it's not connected to your actual scalp, so it's not getting the natural oils from the scalp to the ends as your hair naturally would. The brushing helps to pull that down a little bit, but just to ensure that your extensions can last, since we know it's an investment, you wanna make sure that you're adding the deep conditioner in, once again, either once a month or every other week. You will use your shampoo as we just discussed. You'll take about a quarter size of the deep conditioner. You will add that right to the ends of the extensions first, slowly working it up into your natural hair. We don't want it up near the scalp because we don't want any slippage where the beads are adhered to the hair. The other thing that I recommend is a very loose braid while you sleep with a scrunchie at the end. This will just kind of help maintain everything in one downward laying motion. And then also, I feel like most of us wear our hair a little bit wavy on day two or three anyway, so it actually kind of helps it wave just a little bit while you sleep and maintains your style. So you're providing a little bit of additional um, curl while you sleep, and then you're not putting as much heat on it as well. For more tips on how to maintain your hair extensions at home, please be sure to follow us on all of our social channels and be sure to also ask your stylist.